question, what do Amazing Grace, America the Beautiful, a healthy number of Christmas carols, and a large chunk, but by no means all, of the poetry of Emily Dickinson have in common? Answer, they all make me so excited I have to bust out the accordion. You guys all know this song, right? Of course, I mean, everybody knows it. It's a well-known Christmas carol. Uh, what are the words, though? Right. So what I did there is I took the words of one Christmas carol, A Little Town of Bethlehem, and I set them to the tune of another Christmas carol, Joy to the World. And the reason I could do that is that both songs share a common meter, which is known as common meter. Common meter consists of alternating iambic lines of eight and six syllables per line. For example, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound, that saved a wretch like me. Or, I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the room was like the stillness in the air between the heaves of storm. Fun fact, I heard a fly buzz when I died by Emily Dickinson is the best poem. Or, there is a house in New Orleans they call the Rising Sun. Hymn meters are really handy because as a creative individual you only have to do half the work. Let's say you're a poet and you really want your words to resonate with an audience, well you can write it in a hymn meter and then set it to a tune that they already know. Or if you're a composer you don't have to worry about writing words, you can just grab from Isaac Watts stock of 600 metrically perfect hymns that are all ready to go for you. But what this also lets you do is to take texts and tunes that were never meant to go together at all and slam them together. Like, for example, let's take another Emily Dickinson poem and set it to the tune of America the Beautiful. Because I could not stop
you may recognize that from television commercials or some really bad movie or something. It's the opening of Karl Orff's 1930s masterpiece, Carmina Burana, which took its text from a collection of poems by wandering monks in the Middle Ages. And that first poem, O Fortuna, is about the sort of crushing wheel of, of fate, of fortune, which you know puts you up on the top, but then brings you back down and grinds you to dust. But its dramatic power is undercut a little bit when you take those same words and you put them to a uh, classic American folk song. Yes, my friends, the best thing about the repertoire of songs in eights and sevens is that it includes my darling Clementine. And the great thing, of course, is that it goes the opposite direction as well. So if anybody knows the tune Ode to Joy, which you probably do know, it um, originally appeared at the climax of the final movement of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, which was a revolutionary work in the history of classical music because it was a symphony that included a full choir in it and thus brought the entire gravitas of the poetic tradition to the symphonic form and blew open the doors for Wagner and Brahms and everyone else who came afterwards or something. So if you are among the people who think that maybe Beethoven has been made a little bit of a bigger deal out of than perhaps he deserves in comparison to other musicians throughout history, then all you have to do to cut him down to size is the next time you're singing in the chorus for Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, just convince all your fellow singers to uh, come in with the right music, of course, but just slip in the, uh, oh my darling, Clementine words instead. <laughs> If you're all familiar with the Protestant hymn tradition, you can get a hymnal, there'll be a, an index of meters in the back, and you'll probably find that you can sing the words of some hymn you know to the tune of some other hymn you know. I'm going to leave you with one final example. This is an example of long meter. This is yet another hymn meter, which consists of eight syllable stanzas. And the music here comes from the Genevan Psalter, you may recognize it if you're an American Protestant. And the words come from the musical Le Miserable. You may recognize it if you're a human being. This tune also works with Robert Frost's Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening and the Christmas Carol O Come, O Come Emmanuel. Thank you for listening. This is the Micah Summer Variety Hour. See you next time. There is a castle on a 